Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Wednesday, November 6, 2019. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. You'll notice here that the ES is trading at highs three days in a narrow range at these highs above the previous month's high and is currently sitting right up this at this level at the moment. One thing to keep in mind is that price has continued to trade right within this channel line right here. Uh, on the upper channel line you have the lower channel line like this and it's been in this channel that's been uptrending. It's been able to continue to push to new highs when it can. But then after trading a while up there it'll rotate back down. The 200 has been a jumping off point lately. Uh, and so again here we are above these highs and if there is a failure to hold those levels then perhaps we do rotate back down uh, back toward the 200 day, back toward the lower trend line and back down toward the lower boundary of this channel which could provide another bounce opportunity down the way. Now this doesn't necessarily have to happen obviously. This market has been extremely bullish here in the near term. Uh, been extremely bullish since the double rejection here. We've broken through the top of this kind of uh, ascending wedge here and if this is a true breakout, if it can stay above uh, say the FOMC key level or stay above 3K then we could see much more upside ahead on a, on a one, two, three month basis. So this market still remains bullish. There's nothing to suggest major rejection to come, but it is an area to watch for potential rejection. At the moment, we had a failed high yesterday and price closed below the, the midpoint. Price is now approaching uh, today's midpoint, which is 30.77.75. And if there's a failure to get above that zone or say above 30.80, then perhaps we could see a pullback, at least a reversion to the mean back toward uh, previous month's high, back toward the eight period average, perhaps back toward the FOMC key level from October 30th. Since this FOMC key level went bid, any pullback is going to be a buying opportunity for a continuation higher. So really, this market really needs to fail back below that 3020 we've been talking about. That would really suggest a wider pullback we can theoretically pull back as deep as that and still be a continuation pattern for this wider uh, continuation to the upside. All right, let's take a look now at the NQ. Very similar price action here for the NQ. Narrow inside trading day today, 32% of ADR trading at the moment inside the previous session's range, two-day narrow range as well. Uh, this thing is holding above the previous month's high. You can also see right up here you have a very clear uh, trading range or channel. So let me draw these lines a little better. There's your upper line. Your lower line is about like this. And that's basically it right there. That's your lower line and that's your channel. Right now we're at the upper end of that channel which has had uh, three really good tests here. One there. I guess I gotta click on the pencil there. So you still have that one, you got this one, and now you have this test. Again, these didn't turn right around and drop. It took a week or so. This one took you know, quite a bit longer here. So we could be up here for a little while building out and then fail. Uh, we could pull back pretty deep and hit this and not fail at all. Continue right on through, as I mentioned before. But right now, this is a spot to watch, 8200. And uh, again, the deep level to watch here will be 8K. That's going to be the deep level to watch. We could drop as deep as that and still be a continuation pattern. We fail there. That opens up more weakness back toward the 200. All right, let's take a look now at crude oil. Right now, crude oil is down about a half percent on the day, inside day. And this is an important day here right now. We have crude oil inventories coming up here pretty soon, and uh, crude oil inventories could give it a little bit of a pop right now. Crude oil is trading 36% of average range, 36%. The NQ is at 32%. ES is at 42%. Uh, you have RTY at 30% right now, and gold's at 40%. So everything's trading really quietly at the moment in terms of range heading into RTH. What you see right now is very narrow price action here inside day today so far. Big upside break here, and it happened on the first trading day of the month. This was a lower value relationship with a change of bias. 
so the the pivot range was lower than the previous month's pivot range, but the close uh, was above it, and that suggests strength. Right here, it went it went bid right at the open of the month. It's held the last three days so far. Uh, we've seen a little bit of a rounding off of this bottom. This actually reminds me of much like what Nat Gas looked like before it formed its low and rallied to where we currently are. It had a low that was very developed like this for a while and then eventually got some pretty big days and rallied. So right now this market is clearly showing signs of strength to come. Uh, there could still be maybe say a failed low that develops in the breakout. We could see a breakthrough three-day highs at some point uh, even today again with crude oil inventories coming up later on. Uh, we had API weekly crude oil stock came in yesterday afternoon at a build of 4.26 million barrels. We'll see if uh, if crude oil uh, does similar here with the inventories and how the market might respond there. But again, I think this looks like it has the look like it wants to return back towards 60. So it could be a good three point breakout soon. All right, lastly, let's take a look at gold futures. Okay, here's a look at gold. What you'll see here with gold is price has been compressing within a very narrow range over the last uh, three months. You can see that range right here. You can also see the inside value relationship that has developed inside the previous month's range. We have the neutral val value relationship here, which is suggestive of continued compression. All of this suggests a major move to come, uh, a major breakout move one way or another. And if this thing can break through 1525, it opens up quite a bit of upside uh, because there's clear air above. It's clear air above from 1525 up to 1800. This thing could rally to 1600 very, very quickly. Uh, based off of this, again, this is a three month trading range. We could see three months of trending behavior. Now, if this thing were to break to the downside, say we break down through 1465 here then it opens up quite a bit of a pullback that would lead to a major retest of the 1375s. That would be tremendous LVN support there. That's the level that we broke through here uh, back in June and never, ever, ever came back to retest it again. True breakout in the truest sense here. We had not tested 1375 in six years, and the first day we tested, we break through it and never come back and continue higher toward 1560. So that's been a tremendous rally. Again, Based off of the compression we're seeing after the trending move up, the ex expectation would be for another continuation higher. But again, a failure at 1465 opens up more, much more weakness. Now, as I've mentioned before, 1480 to 1520 is the inside trading range. And right now, we had a major sell-off the previous session through two-day lows, through the top of that 1520, and down to 1480.70. Today, we're seeing an opposite day up. This could be an extreme reversal pattern that leads us right back to 15.15.80 over the next uh, one to five days. So again, we could be turning right back up, and we could be range-bound until we can break free from that 1480 to 1520. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.